This is a short introduction to the data extractor used by the Aluma Purchase to Pay Diagnostics for SAP. The goal of Aluma is to provide immediate diagnostics and insights into how the business process is working. It's delivered as a ready to use analytics service and is provided with in excess of 60 specific diagnostic and defect analytics, benchmarks and dashboards. It works as a cloud based application hosted on the Google Cloud Compute Engine and it extracts P2P data from SAP on a daily basis and securely transmits the data to Aluma where it's analyzed and the results are made available to registered business users. The extract process uses a small provided app and we will be going through the installation and configuration process in this session. It uses SAP remote function calls to get the data from SAP and this means there's no ABAP code and no additional software components needed in the SAP landscape. The data needed by the analysis is that contained within the master data transaction and configuration tables that support the P2P process in SAP and the main tables are listed on your screen. The steps to get started are one, register with Aluma, uh, number two, download and install the extractor, and three, configure the SAP connection. And we will be covering these in a, in a little more detail. Firstly, some prerequisites. Uh, the extractor is a Windows background service, so you'll be downloading to, to Windows. Should be installed on a Windows server. However, optionally for pilot use, it can be installed on a desktop, PC or laptop. Does not need much resource, so a minimum spec Windows machine is fine with about 100 megabytes of free space. It needs to be a 64-bit version of Windows with .NET 4.6 or higher. It needs admin access to install. It will need access to the SAP system in terms of network connectivity and the connection details and access credentials. And it needs internet access to enable secure transmission of data to Aluma. For the SAP system you're connecting to, it needs a friendly name, uh, so a name familiar to your business user community. And then for the specific SAP connection details, uh, these are used locally connect to connect to SAP. They are not transmitted to Aluma. The, you need the SAP host name or IP address, the system number and client number, and the user credentials to be used by the Aluma extractor to read from SAP. So the user ID must have authorization to read from the tables required by Aluma. And a full list of tables is in the Aluma technical overview. So to register, go to aluma.com and click on register. Enter your details. Aluma will send you an activation email. Go to your email and click on activate. Uh, confirm the activation, log in, and Aluma will show you its uh, welcome to Aluma message and on there will be a link to the to download the extractor. On the welcome message or alternatively uh, from the top right hand menu in Aluma, the, the, the same option is available to download the extractor. Click on download. A zip file will be downloaded to your, to your Windows computer. Uh, just move the zip file to your preferred installation folder and, and unzip then run the installation package as administrator. If you see the blue Windows protected your PC message, then click on more info and consider solutions will be confirmed as the publisher. Click on run anyway. Click on yes to allow the app to make changes to your computer. Click to accept the agreement, click on next and click to go ahead with the install. When the install completes, uh, it will offer you the option to run the ERP connection setup. So keep that checked and click on finish. Then either from the final uh, page for the installation or from the installation folder, run the extract config and that will uh, display a, a small dialogue. Uh, firstly, enter your Aluma credentials that you created earlier. Click on check credentials. That should give you a successful message. Click on OK. Then on the right hand side under SAP connections, click on add new. Enter the details of your SAP system. Then if the connectivity is OK and the details are correct, 
Then you should, should get a successful message. Click on OK, click on Save and Close, click on Save and Close again. And that's it. The Illumina Data Extractor will now start as a Windows service and you can check that in the Windows services list. By default, three months of historical data would initially be extracted. The extractor will then change to daily mode when it will extract the previous day's data on a daily basis. Hope that was useful. There's more detail in the technical overview and that's available to your Consider Solutions contact or by emailing info at consider.biz. Thanks for your time.